Hey, what's up everybody? Eric Solobox. So I'm out on my KLR today and I am stuck. I was trying to get up, there's some uh, power lines up here and I found this little access trail that goes around a gate. You might be able to see the power lines running through the trees up there, I'm not sure, but there's uh, probably just barely make out the tower up there. So anyway, I made it about this far on the trail and I know hills don't really convey all that well on video. This really isn't all that steep, but uh, you know, I walked it first and I was like, yeah, I think I can make it up that well. You can see how far I made it is to just, I just about made it. Like if I had made it another 10 feet, turning around wouldn't have been an issue. Actually, I wouldn't have bothered, I would have made it. But uh, you can see how far I made it. And what I've done now basically is slide back. I tried turning around in this spot, couldn't get it done. I've been trying to use that trick where you uh, pull the bike over onto the side stand and pivot it. Uh, but uh, this ground's real wet and muddy, so I just walked up by the power lines and got myself this big rock. And so I've already pivoted it once before it came off of the rock and I'm to about the halfway point. I'm hoping that uh, on this next pivot that I can pull it over towards me and pivot enough to get around this stuff here and get myself pointed back in the other direction. You know, I decided to go with a more of a dual sport type of a tire this time. You know, I ran uh, I ran the T63s, the Michelins, for years and years and just loved those tires, man. I don't know why they discontinued them. They were such a great tire, best 50-50 tire I've ever ridden. You know, I got my first pair of those and I was like, this is the tire for me. So this time I decided, you know what, I'll buy cheap tires and just try out a cheap uh, dual sport type of a tire. These are Shinko 700s and I'm here to tell you, man, these things are, they're garbage. They really are. They just pack solid immediately. These aren't good on anything. Like I feel sketchy on wet pavement. They're horrific in mud. Like, like, you know, there should be a class action lawsuit probably. So they pack immediately. They won't fling anything out of them. And uh, yeah, they're just sketchy at best. You know, the new KLR just came out and they managed to make it 28 pounds heavier. I don't know why, but you know, this bike's already too heavy. Um, I'm looking at the uh, the new uh, Honda CRF 300 Rally. You know, that's uh, just under 30 horsepower and about 300 pounds. Um, you know, with a good knobby on it, this would be no issue on that bike. And this is the type of riding that I really want to get out and do. Um, you know, some trip stuff on the road, like back highways and stuff, 60, 65 miles an hour. And it looks like that 300 will do that really well. So I'm, I'm thinking that uh, that's going to be my next bike. I don't think I'm going to buy the new KLR. I'll probably own one at some point down the road. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty much positive that I probably will. But um I think in the interim, as soon as that 300 hits the dealership here, I think I'm going to get one of those and uh, see if I don't like it. I think it'll be a good bike for uh, Asher and I to take camping and stuff. There's a little Honda CRF 50. Actually, it's an XR 50. It's before the CRF um, that he's got uh, out in the shop that my buddy Peter gave us on loan. And uh, so, you know, we'll have two Hondas and be able to take both of those bike out and get some camping and stuff done i could ride that bike kind of slow and take asher along with me and probably have a good time on fire roads and stuff so as he gets older he just turns six i'm thinking you know by the time he's seven or eight um taking him out riding will definitely be a viable thing so anyway i'm gonna let you guys go i'm kind of overheating here um i'm gonna try to uh, get my bike turned around and get out of here uh everybody ride safe don't get stuck in the woods guys talk to y'all later